I was going to say, can you uh, talk a little bit about how somebody could share a wallet with you? Like, why would you be in that situation to begin with? Sure, very easy. Uh, you would have poorly managed your seed phrases. You would have either released them in the physical world by leaving them out for somebody to, to copy. Uh, that's this, the, the first most legitimate way that somebody can like lose their seeds. The old story about the maid that picks up the, the notepad that has all the seeds on it that makes off with everything. And there's nothing that the owner can do anything, do with it, uh, do about it. Uh, number two, you could have taken a, an electronic picture or snapshot or copy paste or up in the cloud type of back, uh, backup of your seed phrase, which is also poorly, poorly mismanaged. Um, uh, uh, mismanagement of your seed. You could have entered it in from a recovery point of view into another uh, 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 MetaMask instance using your keyboard on either your phone or your PC to do so. That, uh, that of course, will uh, allow uh, either a man in the middle attack uh, to be exploited and and. Uh, uh, the key logger to be injected or or actual otherwise commandeerment of your of your uh, device and they can actually see what you're typing they can you can mm -hmm. write it down and be in front of your phone and your phone's got a camera and somebody's already commandeered your phone and they're watching you write this down you could whisper your seeds as you're writing them or typing them in for the first time uh, and Alexa can pick it up and someone can do a man in the middle attack for Alexa or some other way that that can happen. There are tons and tons of ways that you can lose your, your, your access to your seeds and they can go and get released into the wild. So what you got to do is treat them like your Fort Knox password, right? You got to write them down. Do not be in back of a, don't, don't have a window in back of you at the time. Uh, Make sure that it's done offline. Don't whisper it, write it down, etch it into titanium so that it doesn't go up in smoke. If you have a house fire, throw that into a secure location or a fire safe, and then you know maintain control over those seeds. Do not think from a convenience standpoint, you should be entering in the same seeds into your phone and your PC at the same time. That's what a lot of people in this chat do. They come back and they're like, I've got it on my phone too. And then we run a test and lo and behold, they're running the same seed on their phone that they generated either on their phone first and put it into their PC or vice versa, which is a no-no. When you have two devices running the same seed or, or ho housing the same seed, you widen and broaden your threat surface so that the attacker can actually you know, get at you. You think that it's better security, but no, you're erring on the side of convenience. Never have it running on this on, on a different device at the same time. This, the seed should reside on one device and cold storage only. So, is that long-winded enough for you? No, it's good. Hey, Papa B, I got a question if you got a question. just went up significantly, but yeah, thank you so much, man. That exact thing happened to a guy yesterday on the phone and he he said he didn't go anywhere and I talked to him a bit and he ended up downloading some innocuous thing on his phone that he thought was safe and it was a key logger. Ten oh, minutes yep. later, crypto was gone. He watched yep. it go in front of his eyes. Yep. 